All right, thanks so much. Hey, we're ready to talk entertainment with John Castle Medes from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Thanks for hanging on as we no were a little problem. delayed today. No problem. I'm the host. I'm the uh, ambassador <laughs> of the room today. You are. You've been sitting here a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have a lot coming up. Some new shows. Now, something that you can't really announce, but you can kind of announce that you're right. working on that's going to be announced today is? It, there's a new show that Spiegel World is working on that is coming into Las Vegas into a familiar venue that hasn't been used in a while on the Strip. Mm. Spiegel World, folks, is the is uh, company that brought absinthe and opium to Las Vegas and was also the one that brought uh, uh, Vegas Nocturne to the uh, Cosmopolitan a few years ago. Oh, yeah. A big new title and a big new project coming in, and uh, you'll know about the specifics of it by the end of the day. It has an old Las Vegas theme to it that is um, radioactive. Mm. Oh, should be cool. Yeah. All right, well, they always do great things. Yes, so. it's going to be weird, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I know, it's always <laughs> a little weird, right? Well, Janet Jackson coming to the Park Theater now. They're calling it a residency. It's 15 shows, yes. right, in three different months. And I think this is pretty exciting for a lot of people because she could dance. Yeah, she, boy, you know, I, I had forgotten until I went in and researched how much music she's moved over the years. Oh, yeah. She, she was, was a very big star in the late 80s and through the early 90s. Uh, in the Jackson family. And uh, yeah, she's gonna take 15 dates at, um, at Park Theater beginning in May. I think May, 5th, uh, May 17th is the first date and then June into, um, into September. Yeah. And uh, she's taken up what amounts to the rest of the dates as far as I can tell that Britney Spears left oh. out when she um, had to pull domination off the, off the uh, uh, schedule. So mm -hmm. she is going to be a big deal for 15 shows. That's about as close as we can come to a residency at these, yeah. in these headliner series. I'm very reluctant to call them a residency, but it will be a, a big deal and they're very sure. uh, excited to have her there. Big it's name, big. Great fit, they're getting a lot of people. All right, let's talk about this outrageous adults only brunch over at SLS. I saw <laughs> you there and Instagramming and I thought, what is going on? But it looks fun. Esther Goldberg's totally outrageous brunch is what it's called. <laughs> okay. Michael Arrington plays a character of Esther Goldberg, who's like the, the naughty, ribald uh, great mm -hmm. aunt we apparently all have in our families. That's there? it. There she is. Okay. Blazing redhead. As I said in my column, the, the wig is red, but the comedy is blue. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Sabina Kelly in it. A, a load, the cast is loaded. Uh, Ann mm -hmm. Martinez and Cassie Stone are co-singers uh, with um, Michael in the show. It's got a lot of adult humor, some, um, you know, sexy dance numbers, mm -hmm. a lot of different uh, acts. John Domenico as Donald Trump is in the show. Very funny. And uh, you get a full brunch. So it, is it at brunch time? Yes, at okay. 11 a.m. and at 2 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. And it just started last weekend. Oh, okay, cool. In the SLS uh, Sayers Club. And just curious, price-wise, is it it's a about, decent It's about uh, $49 okay. for the, the lowest end price. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, it, looked, it looks fun. Yeah, okay. it is. It's really cool. Something it's really funny. Different. All right, let's talk St. Baldrick's Charity. Mm -hmm. This is close to your heart. Uh, it helps childhood cancer. Huge deal, especially here in Las Vegas every year. You get your head shaved. Are you doing it again? Seven years in a row. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing My shaving is going to be on March 9th mm -hmm. at New York, New York's uh, uh, Brooklyn Bridge okay. at about 2 p.m. then. And my shaver this year, we do a different person every year, will be ex-Mayor Oscar Goodman. Fun! He is going to be excited to come after me with clippers, he said. <laughs> uh, and it's all about uh, raising money and awareness for St. Baldrick's, which is for childhood cancer research and treatment. The mm -hmm. Children's Specialty Hospital is funded entirely through St. Baldrick's money. And this Saturday, Enoch Augusta Scott and I are going to be um, co-hosting at uh, McMullen's Irish Pub, also at 2 p.m. And, okay. and Enoch is the uh, co-star, the, the front man from Zombie Burlesque yeah. over at V Theater. And he's it gets become wild involved. over there at McMullen's. That, that place is, yeah, it's it like, it's like, it's very exciting at, at <laughs> McMullen's. It's just, a, it's a small room and everybody jams in there. But we're gonna do, you know, two consecutive weekends beginning this weekend at McMullen's and then uh, New York, New York, and come out all day long. There's gonna be celebrities shaving and being shaved mm -hmm. and, and and it's a whole party, yeah. both places. And yeah. I know you always try and collect some money ahead of time. You yeah. did a little thing at the Tuscany. Real yeah, we just Sunday. had a birthday on Sunday night, uh, my birthday, which is coming up Friday. Friday, we, right? We had a, a party there, an open uh, a lounge show, really, with about 35 singers. And we raised almost $2,000 just by passing the hat around. And uh, thanks to the people at the Tuscany and Kenny Davidson and all the singers for um, turning out for that. And that mm. went into the late, late night. I'm yeah. still kind of recovering from it. <laughs> oh, but boy. But you know how it is in there. So yeah, um, yeah they're part of it, too. All yeah. right, we got about one minute. Let's talk Jimmy Kimmel. He's mm -hmm. coming. He announced on the show. He's given away, and I know you talked about it too. Yeah. The free tickets through uh, April first to the fifth, right? Right. It's on the website. One iota uh -huh. is the one that gives away these free tickets. He's been announcing it on his show, and uh, which is actually how I found out about it. <laughs> <laughs> Reader sent me a, uh, the clip, and uh, yeah, those those are the dates. We don't know the site yet, but it's going to be a Caesar's Entertainment property. Um, you can get uh, on the list, the waiting list for free tickets for all those dates. 
And uh, Jimmy, this is the first time he's done the show in Las Vegas, where, right. he, where he grew up essentially. He went to UNLV, Clark High School. And I'm really looking forward to this. I've had overtures from his producers. They're going to have some old Vegas elements in the show, and I've been helping them get connected that way in okay. Las Vegas. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right, we got a lot going on. Also, um, 30 seconds, mob story not coming back to the plaza? The or? mob story, a promising show at the plaza showroom, has ended its ended. run there formally. It, okay. it stopped at production in December. They were looking for a new uh, room on the stripper elsewhere. Uh, wide open. Mm. They're a free agent. All right, you can read more in John's column. Next time we see you, you'll be a year older. So happy birthday, John <laughs> Castellamides. And you can read more in his column called Cats.